Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, back with another lunch break video. In case you didn't know, I do make my videos on my lunch break. Anyways, we've got some interesting Halo news, maybe some potential reunions coming between 343 and previous Halo co-founder. Tom Henderson reported that the Battlefield game director Marcus Leto has left EA. Now, if you don't know who Marcus Leto is, he is an FPS veteran and a co-creator of Halo. He was the art director on the first three games, had a, an insane impact on the look of those games. He then became a creative director on the latter games made by Bungie, and was actually a part of the original Destiny team before he left. He founded his own studio, V1, in 2014, but eventually shut down in 2021, where he moved to Ridgeline, which is a studio under EA, where it was revealed that he was the director of narrative on the Battlefield franchise. Now, we don't know why he left, or if he was kind of, you know, fired or forced out or anything like that. There has been no statement regarding that change. Marcus has updated his Twitter and LinkedIn to reflect that the position ended. Now, in terms of Battlefield, you never want to see a high-up leadership role like that changing during development. That's never really a good sign. But it's kind of weird because everything would have seemed fine, you know, like a month ago. Now, if you're anything like me, the first thing you think about is the reunion tour. Now, I'm sure all of you remember we had Joseph Staten come on to kind of guide Halo Infinite to the finish line. We all know what a cluster that was. And there are some who will, you know, argue that he didn't really have that big of a role. Others will say that the reason why the game came out even as good as it did was because of him. And we'll honestly probably never know the extent. But it seems to me like if you want to get back to what Halo was, if you want this this type of expert, foundational level understanding of what Halo is, why not from the man who created basically who the Master Chief is? Now, of course, you run into, you know, there are there are sometimes issues when you do that, you know, especially when somebody's moved on. Uh, you bring them back and there's a lot of, I know exactly what this is, I know exactly what I want to do. They get an ego and stuff, and, you know, they are infallible. Can't be wrong. We all know ego is kind of the killer in anything, but I couldn't imagine that Marcus is like that in any capacity. I think his foundational knowledge of the Halo universe, what Halo is, what Halo looks like, what Halo feels like, would absolutely help 343 in capturing that magic. Again, we've already seen a huge shift in the art direction of what Halo Infinite is. Compared to, say, Halo 4 and Halo 5, I do not foresee them changing that art style. I think that they finally hit their stride and what the community likes. But man, bringing on somebody like Marcus would just be another... It's a, it's a great PR thing, you know, like people will see that and get excited. And I, I feel like on all fronts... As long as, like, nothing crazy terrible happened and, like, he... Again, we have no idea, but if, like, something forced him out, then, yeah, the PR optics might be a little bit worse and this isn't even, you know, a story. But say it's just him. Maybe he just wanted to leave. Maybe he wasn't vibing, you know, he didn't like the Battlefield direction of the game. <coughs> we can only speculate. But personally, if, if it was all, you know, just like he didn't want to be there... I think 343 Microsoft should pick up the phone and just gauge the interest. Now, that being said, I'm curious as to what you all think. Do you fall onto the side of, you know, Joseph Staten didn't do anything and, you know, it's it's just not going to be worth bringing somebody like that back? Or do you think that this would be a good idea? Let me know in the comments down below. As always, we are grinding away towards 15,000 subscribers and we are so close. So if you're new to the channel and I know 90% of you who watch the videos aren't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. I'm not going to beg, but please, God, please, please, please. Just kidding. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like because it does help me with that YouTube algorithm. And I will catch you in the next one.